Manchester United forward banished from first team training after falling below required fitness levels. Anthony Marshall has not been deemed fit enough to train with the Manchester United first team for the past month, as per Mail Sport. The Frenchman has been out of action since the Reds' 3-0 defeat to Bournemouth on December 9, following which he picked up a sickness bug that ruled him out of the subsequent seven matches. Given his shoddy injury record, most supporters assumed that was the case this time around. Eric Ten Hag also kept tight-lipped on Marshall's condition when pressed on the matter in pre-game conferences, which, at times, raised eyebrows at the player's long absence. Now, Mail's report claims that the striker's illness has left him with fitness levels too inadequate to feature in a competitive game, hence his continued omittance from the matchday squad. Marshall has been ordered by Ten Hag to train separately while he works his way back to the required level that the manager demands for United's intense, high-demand sessions. The 28-year-old's contract expires in June and as it stands, the club have no intention of triggering a one-year extension or keeping him beyond the summer. More stories, latest news. Manchester United forward banished from first team training after falling below required fitness levels. Anthony Marshall has not been deemed fit enough to train with the Manchester United first team for the past month, as per Mail Sport. The Frenchman has been out of action since the Reds' 3-0 defeat to Bournemouth on December 9, following which he picked up a sickness bug that ruled him out of the subsequent seven matches. Given his shoddy injury record, most supporters assumed that was the case this time around. Eric Ten Hag also kept tight-lipped on Marshall's condition when pressed on the matter in pre-game conferences, which, at times, raised eyebrows at the player's long absence. Now, Mail's report claims that the striker's illness has left him with fitness levels too inadequate to feature. Sofian Amrabat puts in midfield masterclass as Morocco beat Tanzania 3-0 in Africa Cup of Nations opener. Manchester United midfielder Sofian Amrabat played all 90 minutes including added time as Morocco kick-started their Africa Cup of Nations campaign by beating Tanzania 3-0. Former Wolverhampton Wanderers defender Romain Sace gave Morocco the lead 30 minutes into the game to set his side on their way. Azedin Aounahi doubled the score deep into the second half, with a brilliantly worked goal just outside the area. Youssef N. Nisiri's third of the clash sealed the win and ensured Morocco secured all three points at the Stade de San Pedro Stadium in Ivory Coast. United star Amrabat started in the midfield pivot alongside Selim Amala. Amrabat had 69 touches of the ball during the time he was on the pitch. He successfully delivered 60 of the 63 passes he attempted managing a stellar pass accuracy of 95% more than any other star to play 45 minutes or more in the match. The Fiorentina Loni attempted to ping six long balls to his teammates. All of them found their intended target. Amrabat did not attempt a shot and did not embark on any dribbles. He was primarily tasked with sitting deep and shielding the Morocco backline from being easily breached. The 27-year-old was good defensively. He delved into seven ground duels and won four of them. He contested one challenge in the air, which he won. Amrabat also came up with three tackles. Manager of the Atlas Lions, Walid Regragi, spoke after the game and emphasized the importance of the national team remaining humble and only focusing on their performances. Morocco who are definitely one of the favourites to win AFCON will seek to build on their opening victory when they take on DR Congo on Sunday.